Well, hello there. My name is Sonia. This is Sonia with an I. Thank you so much for being here today. I am bringing you a book on haul. Uh, I had noticed that my book stack was starting to grow and grow and grow and uh, it was starting to make me a little tickish. So I decided that I was going to unhaul them and do a video as well. I love unhaul videos. I just think they're so fun. So um, I hope that you enjoy this one today. You may be saying, what do you do with your books? Well, I usually try to donate books if I can to uh, give them to friends as gifts. Or if I find a book I really love, I share it. But sometimes I don't know where to go with them. So we are very fortunate in our community to have many little free libraries. And so I usually try to, about once a month or sometimes maybe even every other month, just go to the little free libraries and uh, fill them up, make sure that there's plenty of books for both children and adults. So um, I find such great book deals. You know, you get a, a bag of books for a buck or, you know, a nickel or a quarter a piece or whatever. So a lot of times I will get them and think, well, maybe I'll read it, but or I will pass it on to a friend, and then later it's it's sat here for a bit, and then it's time to kind of get rid of it. I also have people give me books sometimes, just bags of books, because they know I'm bookish, and uh, they may not be something I would want to read, but I would love to donate to somebody so they could read it as well. So here I will uh, go through my bag of books. Now, I'm not going to summarize the books but I will just show you the cover and the author and probably let you know if I read it or not. So let's go, here we get started. The first book is a Goosebump book. It is a um, Choose Your Own Adventure. It is by R.L. Stein. Um, my fella and I did this at Halloween and because it was Choose Your Own Adventure, we kind of took turns reading the scenario and we both died, so yeah. <laughs> it was fun though, we had a good time and we did multiple ones, but we always died in the end. Uh, more stuff on my cats. Uh, this is just some fun pictures of cats and stuff. I think I'm going to give this to my other mother or my mother-in-law. They'll enjoy that. Uh, Wonder by RJ, RJ Palacio. This is on Hoopla and I think I'm going to listen to it instead of read it. And I have a friend that's trying to build a little class, a class library. So I think I'll just give that to him. Uh, Song about the clouds by Rosemary Pollock. I, I've got this for the retro readathon. I did a I did a little review on it. As you can see, I notated it. I, I'm going to put it in a little library. Maybe somebody is crazy about notations too and knows and wants to read through it. So I will send that there. Uh, Laverne Spencer's Endearment. This was in a bag of donated books that someone just gave to me. Uh, Linda Ford's The Dreams of Hannah Williams. This is a heart song Harlequin. We Harlequin. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we have a church that has a little free library in our community. So, uh, the, the sweet romances and things I will kind of curate and put into that. Listening to your heart by Joyce Livingston. This is a heart song and it is, this is a Christian romance. So I'll put that in that, in that little book box. Uh, Building Dreams by Gina Gray. This is a silhouette. The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. Uh, Booktube made me buy this. And I wanted to love it, but sadly, I did not. Um, I just, I didn't even finish it. it. It just, it wasn't the vibe I was wanting and I was going for. And there was, it, it wasn't a bad book. I don't believe there is bad books, but I just, I didn't care for that. Ghost in the Polka Dot Bikini by Sue Ann Jafarian. I adore Sue Ann Jafarian. She is one of my very favorite cozy mystery writers. I love this series. It's the Granny Apple series. Uh, very, very enjoyable. The covers are adorable. I love Granny Apple. Great book. I'm not going to reread them. So, and if I do, I will, I know where to go to get them, but I just didn't want to hold on to this series. This is Gem of a Ghost. It is also in the same series. I love the covers. I just... I've had them for a while. I have not reread them. And I have the couple first two in her Odelia Gray series. And I will read, read those. I love that series. So I'm holding on to that. The Lighthouse Keeper by James Michael Pratt. That's a beautiful cover. I think I'm sure it's a romance. Yes. Uh, Feeding the Soul by Tabitha Brown. I own this also on audio. So I love her uh, North Carolina accent and her... Um, her very soothing and 
kind of anti way of talking and like anti, like she's your aunt sort of thing. So uh, I adore her. She's a lovely soul, but I find myself listening to this more than I do reading it. So I will pass it on to somebody else. The Gifts of Imperfection by Brene Brown. I read this. I enjoyed it. I got what I needed out of it. I will pass it on to someone else. Always Abby by Linda S. Glatz. This is a Harlequin Love Inspired. Love in the Air by Elizabeth Goddard. This is also a Harlequin Love Inspired. This is a memoir, uh, My Mother's Kitchen by Peter Gethers. I thought I'd really enjoy this because I love kitchen things and recipes, but I've had it for three years and I've not read it, so it's time to go. The Lady of Stonewick. I love this color. It is by Michael Phillips and Judith Pella. It is a gorgeous Bethany House Publishers, which I've never heard of. Stonewick is the series. Uh, I just don't see myself reading it. I adore Alice Hoffman, one of my favorite authors. This is Blue Diary. Uh, my library has it. So when I want to read it, I know where to go. Uncommon by Tony Dunga, Dungy. This is a book that was given to my fella at work and he read it. I don't remember him saying if he enjoyed it or not, but he's read it. So it's moving on. Before the Coffee Gets Cold by uh, Tojiz Tojizaku Kawaguchi. I can say that name and every time I try to say it out loud, I just, so anyway, I read the first one. It was absolutely okay. I was kind of really disappointed. I was looking for something more cozy and coffee lovers. So yeah, I'll pass that on to somebody else. Maybe they'll enjoy it more than I did. Love and Other Curses by Michael Thomas Ford. I thought I would read it. I haven't. So The Babysitter's Club by uh, Christie's Great Idea. This is number one. I spent months looking for the first one and found 10 of them. <laughs> so this is, uh, I've read this. I have my own copy. I So I don't, I don't need the extra. And this is the more of the 90s copy. I have the 80s copy. It totally looks like Saved by the Bell to me. A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Engel. I have two copies of this. I have, um, I kept this. My fifth grade teacher read this out loud. This was the first science fiction that I ever read. I fell in love and I endured it and I still do. So I have my original copy. This can go to somebody else so they can love it too. Tom Hanks is Uncommon Type. Uh, it's on Hoopla. And I think that it's read by him and I like listening to his voice. So Barbara Taylor Bradford's A Secret Affair. I think that was given the help. Catherine Stockett. I loved this book. I probably won't read it, reread it, but I loved it. It was a very good book. Very entertaining. Uh, the Adult uh, by Bronwyn Fisher. Um, I don't know how I got this book. It is a coming of age book. It uh, is about, you know, a college freshman and an older, an older woman. Um, it's LGBTQIA. Um, inclusive. I thought I would read it. Uh, I read the first, I probably read the first chapter or two and it's, it, I don't know, the, it was romancy. I just wasn't in the mood for it. So I'm going to pass this on. I do love the cover. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's very fall. I think that I got it in a free, like it was a book giveaway or something at a local live, a local bookstore, if I remember correctly. I don't remember. Cloud Nine by Luann Rice. Midnight on Linoleum by Terry Helwig. I picked it up. I've never read it. <laughs> Laverne Spencer, Then Come Heaven. Then Came Heaven, sorry. Uh, from the Which Way Librarian Mystery, we have Witch and Famous and Seven Year Witch. I've read both of these. I've read the series and finished it. Um, I enjoyed the first two. The other two are a little lackluster for me. This is a solid three-star series for me. I was in a witchy mood in, in fall and uh, read a lot of these. So The Unexpected Bride by Elizabeth Rolls. Uh, Foul Play at the Fair by Shelley Fondant. I did read this. I gave it a three and a half stars. I enjoyed it. I have a couple more in the series. I think I will continue the series because I own the books. Um, they have a lot of people in it. That was my only, there are so many, it's hard to almost keep up with, but it is cozy. It is a, an, an event. You know, she's a planner. It was, it was enjoyable. Um, Hex on the X by Rochelle Staub. I thought this was the first in the series. I think it is third. 
and I I wanted to read the first first, so I'm going to pass that on. Every Trick in the Book by Lucy Arlington. I read it. I loved it. Uh, I read it. I liked it. I think I gave it 3.5 stars, but I read it several years ago. This It was in a book bag. Uh, Bella Port Summer by Laura Abbott. Ab Abbott. And this is a Harlequin heartwarming book. Uh, this is a Harlequin intrigue. It is number three. Uh, three is my magic number. Uh, so I picked this up for the retro romance and mis it, it had a lot of uh, steaming in it. So I chose the other one. <laughs> uh, so I will enjoy that. I probably won't put that one in the church one. I mean, I guess church people get steamy too. I, I, I will put this in a different one. Uh, Laverne Spencer, The Hillian. I probably won't put this at the playground one, too. I think I might put it at the train one. Yeah. Thinking way too much about it. 50 Harbor Street by Debbie Maycomer. And last but most certainly not least is Partners in Lime by Brie Baker. I read the majority of this series on Hoopla, and I had... The whole reason I get started in the series actually is because I bought the first book, Live and Let Chai, at a book sale, a church book sale, and it was by the book, by the bag, and I love the covers, and I needed a summer read, so I was like, okay, and I got this one, and I got that one, and uh, Live and Let Chai is the first one, and this is the one, so this is the sixth one in the series, so the rest of them I just got on Hoopla, and um I gave away the first one to a friend so she could read it. And then she is also on Hoopla reading the rest of them. So I think I'm just going to donate that one. So that is the end of my book haul. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, please leave a, a book stack emoji or a book, some sort of book emoji. What do you do with your books when you're finished with them? And do you have like physical books? Do you, or do you prefer a different way to read? Um, what do you do with them when you're finished with them? Do you keep them? Do you donate them? Um, what do you do with them? I'm curious. I uh, I really appreciate all of your support. Like I said, like, like and subscribe. Support is absolutely free. Um, if you enjoy book channels and you enjoy this sort of thing, please, you know, make sure that you support all of our booktuber friends. Uh, if no one has told you today how wonderful and beautiful and special you are, you are. You mean the world to somebody. Uh, you mean the world to me being here and supporting me. Um, you make the world a better place just being a part of it. So thank you once again. I hope that you have a beautiful day. And until next time, goodbye. Happy reading.